Hey, I'm Sverre. I'm uh, one of the co-founders and CTO of Rust. And today I will be answering some questions about P2000. Um, so we are going to order the final prototype this week. And then the next order will be the first production series. P2000 uh, is a, a very flexible machine with a module design that makes it perfect for both coffee shops and coffee roasteries. Uh, so the ideal capacity is uh, 2 kilos, but you can roast anywhere up to 2.5 kilos with the right settings. Uh, yeah, it will come with its own software. It will have the same type of setup as we have with the SAMP roaster, but we are currently rebuilding the, our client site or our web portal completely in order to incorporate all the extended features of uh, P2000. We are in dialogue with Liz Cropster and um, it's kind of up to them to incorporate our features. With the new setup, it will be much more flexible so the user can sort of uh, adjust the site according to their need. Um, but we also will have incorporated a lot of new features like schedule your roast, uh, keep track of your inventory, um, comparing logs for instance will have a massive improvement. So there will be a, a, lot, of, a lot of new features that will be available both for our current users for the sample roster but also for the users of P2000. Uh, yeah, um, how about a machine that can measure the size of the coffee and give you a graphical representation of the color while you're roasting? Yes, of course, we will have first crack detection. With the P2000 Plus, um, the machine will automatically compensate for fluctuation in the power grid so that US operator will get 50% power no matter what the voltage coming in, uh, which is obviously a huge benefit. Uh, you also can, depending on how you roast, you kind of want to have control of the machine so you can actually connect a, both a uh, keyboard and a mouse to the machine. Uh, so you can make uh, small adjustments to the power setting or whatever setting you want to tweak just by inputs to the, with the keyboard. Mm, no, not really. It's a very simple machine to operate. Um, you have both advanced features, but you also have a very user-friendly interface on it. Um, and we will, over time, when we get enough data as well, use uh, artificial intelligence in order to assist the operator in choosing, or at least giving them a, a very good starting point based on the input they give on about the coffee they want to roast and how they want to, what flavors they want to get out of it. Um, so the size of the machine, I have to reference my notes, but it's, um, the length of it is um, 860 millimeter with a width of uh, 420 and the total height is 780 millimeter to the top of the hopper. And the uh, estimated weight is roughly 60 kilos. Um, so there's two um, ventilation connections on the machine. There's a 125 millimeter connection at the back for the bean cooler, and there's a 100 millimeter connection on top for the roasting chamber. Uh, so, the temperature coming out of the roasting chamber is a little bit higher than the, um, obviously than the uh, bean cooler. Uh, so a nice way to do it is to actually merge those two into one system uh, further away in your, in your own ventilation system and then you just vent outside. Uh, regarding the smoke-free option, um, we are going to make a uh, add-on feature for the um, uh, smoke or the ventilation that comes from the ro roasting chamber and that will basically be an afterburner. So it will be an electrical afterburner, um, but we will make it uh, as smart as possible to reduce the amount of energy needed. 
So we will have the P2000, which will be the basic model, and then we will have P2000+, Plus, which is the model where you can both customize the features you want, the type of sensors you want, but also the additional modules you want. Uh, our estimate is that it will be released uh, in Q3 or Q4 this year.